Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to unbox this fridge. Before unboxing this fridge, there are things that you should know before buying the fridge and after buying the fridge. Before buying the fridge, first you should consider the space, that's the capacity that you want. Maybe uh, if you need a bigger capacity, how many liters that you need for to accommodate what you want. For me, I went for 173 liters. This fridge is 173 liters. It's Ramton. And the next thing that you need to consider before buying the fridge is the efficiency, the, the amount of the energy that it will take. For, uh, amount of energy that uh, a fridge consumes is according to the star. It's rated under stars. The more the stars, the more efficient it is. Then, uh, after buying the fridge, what do you need to consider? First, after buying the fridge, during transportation, prefer transporting your fridge upright. But if uh, it's not possible for you to, uh, to transport it uh, upright, you can transport it sideways. But remember, the wait time will be doubled when you transport it, uh, uh, when transporting it on the side. So, uh, what do I mean by the wait time? This is the time that you leave your fridge after transportation for four hours for the compressor oil to settle. But when you transport it on the side, you leave it for eight hours for the compressor oil to settle. Then, after four hours, you can now open your fridge, uh, plug it on, but don't start loading food into the fridge. Allow the fridge uh, some time to settle to a temperature, to settle down or to cool, for the temperature that is uh, safe for uh, safe for food storage, that it will take around 12 hours before you start uh, storing food in your fridge. So let's unbox our fridge. This is 173 liters fridge from Brampton, and I bought it in June. So let's unbox it. you pull the box upwards but I couldn't do that so I have to tear it up to tear it out Yeah, 
Сорвала свеч. can see one star so this fridge is one star so the efficiency is not that good <laughs> okay then when you look at down here uh, we have direct coil adjustable thermostat adjustable shelves it has low noise and the uh, one year warranty so let's open it up and see inside. You can see the inside. It has this glass. Let me make this sound well to avoid the noise. this glass to separate the upper and the lower this is how you fix it you just slide it in that way that's how it fits let's look at the downer part and this is the handle I love this handle This is how the inside looks like. I'll show you how to set it up. So this is the first slide down here. And this is the thermostat that I was telling you about uh, when we started the video. So this slide is in front of you. Just slide it. Then here we have this one. The food storage. Then inside here. We have this one, the ice. The ice boot. Uh, how do we call it? The egg rot. <laughs> then we have this one for the eggs. And then we have this one for scooping the ice. Then we have the keys. And the pin here, we have the a warranty certificate which is not signed. I don't know why they didn't sign it. Then we have the manual. Okay, so this one, I think is a fruit or a vegetable product. We fix it that 
battery. Then we have this one. We have this glass. Just slide it in between this. This glass, you slide it in between that place, the two spaces, I don't know if you can see them clearly, just slide it that way. So, the, temp the fridge temperature should be set uh, at around 40 degrees, below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, or so 4 degrees Celsius. But it's supposed to be between 35 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit. But if uh, the best temperature to set is 37 degrees Fahrenheit, so 3.7 degrees Celsius. Uh, and the freezer part, you should set it at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius for, you, for your food to be kept safe for a long period of time. So, yeah, this is our fridge now. love this fridge it's big enough for me Thank you guys so much for staying till the end. Until next time, bye!